Hello everybody, this is Hypersonic, and welcome back to Pikmin 3, Episode 1, Part 2, because the, the thing just decided to, you know, not work, the disc. Yeah, I play this game so much that I get error messages on the disc that I'm playing with. Alright. Oh no! Don't eat him! Thank you. I wonder what that is. Yo, they're out of here. <gasps> no! Not Charlie. Exploration day one, 8.46 a.m. Alf's crash site, two minutes into the game's story. Of real time, I'm suggesting. Oh, of course, he gets a soft landing in the water. And somehow unharmed. Alf. You guys might know him as a uh, the alternate costume for uh, Olimar. Yeah, Alf is in Smash Bros. 4, and I think he's in Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm not sure. I don't have the game. I don't have a Nintendo Switch. I only have a Wii U and a PS3, and I love both of them. As a ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both SS, SS Drake and my team. Alright, let's continue. Oh, no. I think it says Satan, but whatever. It's not Satan. Even though he's red, he's not Satan. Here is that the specimen I just bought has company. It's an onion. And what's that stuck in that branch? Nice. Alright, right, three Pikmin heavy apparently. It was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, the red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's free. Alright. And here we go. Now there is a bonus red pick over here. Alright. This game is all about managing your time. Pretty much. If I had five Pikmin, this would be evenly distributed, but nope. You're gonna use lots of math. Lots of math. But it's simple math. Simple math, like adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying. Alright, my co-pad! Thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. And so, how was your guy how has your guys' day been? My day has been a lot of shit. <laughs> Not really. I actually slept a whole lot. I usually sleep in on some days. I remember back in the days of my channel, the old days of my channel, on Sundays I would usually like sleep in. Sunday was usually like my day where I'm off of my uh, channel. I usually don't post on Sundays back then. I would just sleep in and enjoy life. Yeah, that's pretty much all I do on Sundays. All I do on Sundays is just sleep in. They're taking a long while. Let's throw my friend over there. Alright.
Alright, if you hear a weird sound in the background, that's my fan. Uh, my room is, like, so hot, I need, like, two fans on, alright? The ceiling fan and, like, the, uh, the fan right there. You guys can't see it, but... It's not even blowing in my direction. I, I, I'm not even bother to fix it, alright? Alright, you guys can't even see that. I can. Where's the Drake? I have to follow the signal. Aha! Uh -huh, the SS Drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the other two crew members are still there as well. I'd rather head in that direction. Alright. Oh, it's female share grubs. Alright. Female shear grubs cannot fight. They are harmless. Their male counterparts, however, are vicious killers. They can kill Pitten with effort. Yes, this is a Nintendo game, and people can die in it. You can see people die in it. Yeah, this is perhaps one of the darkest Nintendo games. I think this specific Pikmin game is the darkest one of them. I think so. And this is already a red Pikmin, yes. Alright. I'm gonna have to skip some of this stuff just to get to 40 gameplay. Press A and ZR, you can actually exploit the game and pluck Pikmin faster. Like this. Alright. I'll let all the Pikmin get there. Plucking Pikmin even faster with that method. It's really good and useful for it. Alright, take a moment that. Usually the, the maximum capacity for carrying is two times the uh, required carrying limit. So for instance that needs five and the maximum is ten. Right, the most you can sprout on this day is 21. Let's continue on forward. Right. And we go into this game. Alright. Now, this game does have a darker story, too. Right now, PNF 404, or should I say Planet Not Found 404, <laughs> really, really a good internet pun on your Nintendo. PNF-404 is Earth around, like, millions and millions of years in the future. Approximately 250 million years in the future after the extinction, the extinction of humans. Yes, all humans on Earth are dead in this game. Copiates have a famine on their planet. People are dying. And in the worst ending of this game, it is implied that people died on Kopai, because you failed to get all the fruit. And all you're seeing over here is like your, the remnants of humans, well, at least in Pikmin 2. In uh, Pikmin 2, all the treasures that you find in that game, they are remnants of us. It wasn't humans, but yeah. And some of the life here has uh, evolved 
For example, those phosphats we saw in uh, earlier in this episode, those have probably evolved from some pre-existing organism that we know on Earth today. So yeah, this game has a really dark story to it. I like this song. Yeah, me too. Let's just skip all of this, alright? Let's just get into the game, alright? Let's get into the real meat of the game. Pretty. Most of the supplies we brought with us when Kopai were destroyed, approximately four of them, yeah. Before they they put in a week of provisions. Because when you hover over the uh the first day it says seven, but when you go to the second day it says three. So yes, they lost four days of provisions. Uh Copites, they uh they gain nutrients from uh blended fruits. Pocketations, who are a different alien species in this game. Get their, uh, they eat vegetables, so yeah, they're, they're two different sides of the uh, spectrum of fruits and vegetables. Alright, we're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin helped me find the SS Drake, but our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alright, this has been Exploration Day 1. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Save.